New at 6, Illinois has some homework to do after getting a D-plus on a report card. It grades the state on the number of babies born preterm. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey is digging into this serious problem. And Megan, the issue's been actually getting worse for years. Right, Joe. Almost 11% of babies born in Illinois are born too early. And that number has been ticking up slowly since 2011. We wanted to know why and what can be done to fix it. Illinois is not faring so well, according to our latest report card. We went from a C plus last report to a D plus this time, according to Kelly Hubbard, a Springfield based policy analyst for the March of Dimes. The rate of babies being born too early is higher here than the average for the rest of the country. While Cook County and Chicago stats remain the same, the problem in Lake, Will and Kane counties got worse. Illinois' maternity care deserts or areas where women are not able to access care are increasing. And I think that was also exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic. Hubbard says pregnant women who had COVID-19 were 40% more likely to have a preterm birth. But the research on the long-term impacts has been mixed. In our fairly large study, we didn't see a difference in the rate of preterm birth. So, so that can't be the only driver. Dr. Cynthia Gyamfi Bannerman has spent years researching the problem at the University of California, San Diego. She tells me COVID did impact the way women access care. And there's a big racial disparity here in Illinois. Almost 15% of all babies born to black women last year were preterm, significantly higher than other groups. And the disparity widened in 2021. It's very frustrating for us and for me, especially as a as a black woman. Race really is just a social description and it's not biological in any way in the influence. And so it's almost a proxy towards potential racism. So how do we fix it? Hubbard says that policy wise, Illinois is actually doing everything it should be. But it comes down to making sure that we have hospitals and labor and delivery units available to all um, that we aren't prohibiting certain communities from getting the quality care that everyone deserves. Here's another interesting finding. In 2021, more moms had C-sections. It jumped nearly a full percent nationwide, which means nearly one third of all babies were born via C-section. In the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. Megan, thank you.